happy Father's Day too to all the dads out there. What is going on you guys? We got another rapid disc review for you. We're gonna take a look at this brand new Castaplas Alva. Alva, not sure exactly how you say it. This is their brand new 11 speed driver. Numbers on it are 11, six, negative two, two. Fun fact, Alva actually stands for Elf. So pretty cool name there. I actually really love the feel of this disc. Of course, I love Castaplast plastic. It's probably the best plastic in the game. Um, and the first run colors are beautiful. If you guys are interested in checking out this disc, I highly recommend you go check them out at flightfactorydiscs.com. We've got an awesome selection. My personal favorite, we've got these white purple stamp ones. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely beautiful. If I didn't get this first run one, I was probably going to get one of those. So my Alva's coming in at 170 grams. I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a little bit of a bomber today. I brought out my Fission Wave to test it against. Now, I think the Fission Wave might be a little bit more understable, but they're both 170 and they're both 11 speeds and they have pretty similar flight numbers. I think the Wave is a negative 2.52 in the Fission plastic. So we're going to give them a couple rips out there. I'm going to throw the Alva first and uh, just see if it even is close to the wave. If it's not close in under stability, because I know this thing is flippy, if it's not close to this at all, we're not even gonna throw it. So we're gonna throw the Alva out there first and just see what it does. Try to throw it flat. Oh yeah, it's definitely more stable than the wave. It might not have been the best throw. We're gonna throw the wave too, just to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I think that thing is definitely more stable than than numbers. There goes the wave. It's so, like, it is such a bomber. I mean, that's probably 400 feet right there, and I, I really don't feel like I even threw that that hard. The wave is whew, something else. Yeah, I had a sneaky suspicion that that, uh, that Alva might be just a little bit more stable than the wave. Um, to be fair, that wave is very flippy for some reason. Uh, I mean, it's 170 gram, it's fission wave, but I mean, that thing is almost a roller if I throw it right. Like, if I really put some power on it, I can get that thing to roll, which is, uh, which is pretty interesting. The Alva, on the other hand, I did not see any turn out of that, th that first throw there. Um, we're gonna have to give it some more throws, check it out. All right, I went back and looked at that first throw was kind of nose up a little bit of hyzer. So we're gonna try to do a little bit better on a flat throw here and then we'll start doing some different angles. Let's get a good flat throw though. I wanna see this thing. There we go. All right, a little bit of flip up and a little turn. That was a little better, but still nowhere close to the wave. The wave would have flipped up and absolutely rode that turn. But yeah, I mean, it's still, Still fantastic disc, I think. We're gonna have to throw it. I think where it's really gonna shine for me personally is on some forehands because it does have a little bit flat top and I think it's gonna do a nice S curve with my forehand. So let's we'll check that out. It's getting pretty hot out here. It's like about a thousand percent humidity at least and everything is just wet. Literally everything is just wet. So, especially me. We're gonna try to throw this on Anheuser. I've been trying for 30 minutes now to try to throw this on Anheuser. That's how bad I am at throwing Anheusers. I've tried, this is my fifth attempt. So here we go. Let's see if we can do it this time. That's the best I got. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. That's the best I got there, guys. Oh, that was a little bit of Anheuser, I think. Maybe just flat, but you saw the turn and the fade. We're throwing it on forehand next. I wish I could sit here and redo that shot a few more times, try to get you guys a perfect shot, but it is just so miserably hot out here that uh, I'm melting. I'm literally melting right now. It's kind of part of the reason I haven't been making so many videos lately. It's just been so freaking miserably hot. I, like, I can't stay in Florida sometimes. It's kind of miserable. Probably gonna be going back to the uh, cooling rag, headband style, um, instead of wearing the hat. At least the cooling rag kind of keeps me cool for a little bit, but man, it's just so hot. If you don't get out here at six in the morning, it's already too late. Like it's, I'm here at eight o'clock in the morning and I'm melting right now. Yeah, uh, we're gonna throw this on forehand and we're probably gonna end out the video because it's very hot. 
One thing I'll say about this disc, it's got a pretty interesting profile to it. It's pretty flat, but it also has a rounded shoulder. This gives it a baby pop top, nothing crazy, but it has a nice flat profile, which feels good on my forehand. I mean, you see that. I don't know if you can actually tell, but it's kind of flat, but it's kind of domey at the same time. I don't know if that kind of gives it the best of both worlds. Like it gives it that glide, but it still also feels good on forehand and things like that. They do give it a negative two, two with a six glide, which is kind of similar to the grace by latitude 64, 11, six, negative one, two is the grace. Um, I think this thing actually kind of flies similarly to the grace as well. I wouldn't give it a negative two, two. I'm not getting a whole lot of turn out of this thing. Like I do the wave or anything like that, which is basically the same numbers I'm getting not so much turn with this a little bit of turn but mostly just kind of like a forward push and then some fade i wouldn't say it's necessarily got a six glide though i feel like of course it's kind of hard to tell like glide you can't really see glide i feel like i, I mean Kate, i guess you kind of can i just feel like the grace pushes a little bit further before it fades uh still goes really straight but just fades a little bit later i feel like this has a little bit of an earlier fade keeping on that same topic I also feel like this has kind of a thick rim to it. If you if you grab a grace or you grab the wave, those feel like 11 speeds. You can actually feel that this feels more like a 12 speed. So I don't know if maybe if maybe once it starts to lose speed, it fades quicker because it might be closer to a 12 speed. I'm not sure. I think the grace pushes just a little bit further though within this disc. That being said, enough jibber jabber. We're going to throw it on forehand because, like I said, it feels great on a forehand grip. And uh, I think, honestly, that's kind of where this is, is going to shine for me. Because the wave is just a little too touchy on forehands. This thing might be nice. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit of flip up, nice straight push, and a, and a reliable fade. I mean, I think I could even crank on that a little bit. Kind of my stock forehand is a little bit Anheuser. So... I feel like I could actually really crank on that and get some get some really good distance out of that on the forehand. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys want to go pick up your own Alva, make sure you go head over to flightfactorydiscs.com. We've got a good selection of them. We are out of the first runs, unfortunately, but we've got some other great options. The clear pink ones, man, I don't know. I, I really kind of I almost want to get another one to uh, throw around because I don't want to lose this first run one, but... This disc is flying good. It's kind of a, I feel like it's kind of like Cast Blast Grace. So if you're a fan of the Grace and uh, you throw Cast Blast, make sure you go check this disc out. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.